Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work with multiple um, HTML files. So in a couple videos earlier, I showed you how to create separate bundles. Um, but right now, all those bundles are being added to a single HTML file. And that kind of defeats the whole point. If you want to have um, separate files, separate bundles, you need to have separate index files. So if you want to have separate code for your About page or whatever your page. So this way, we're gonna, it's going to allow us to split up not only our JavaScript into different bundles, but now we can create different HTML files that will reference those different bundles. So let me show you how you do that. Um, there's nothing additional you need to install if you've been following along. You just need this um, HTML Webpack plugin, and that'll kind of handle everything for us. So right now, this is our plugin right here, and it just has a title, but we can change this. And let me create a new file here inside of source. I'm going to create a new folder called views. And I'm just going to create a new file called index.html. I'm going to create a new file about.html. Okay. Let's give it a second. Okay. So, as you know, when we run the web, uh, HTML Webpack plugin, it's going to automatically create that index.html file. But now we're going to tell it to create specific files, and we're going to tell it where to reference those files from. So let's get rid of this. We're going to give it a file name. This is the file name we wanted to call it once it's done processing it, index.html. Then we give it this template key. And now we're going to tell it, okay, this is where to find the template to base that HTML file off of, views index.html. And finally, let's get chunks. If you give it the chunks key, app. Let's do one more. I'll tell you what this all means in a second. Now we're going to change this one to about, about, oops. Okay, so right now I've just duplicated this plugin. I'm saying create an index.html file. This is what you're going to call it. You're going to the template you're going to use is going to come from this source views index.html. So you're going to use this file, which I should probably make a simple HTML file. Let's see. Index HTML. There's another one here. This is our about page. About HTML. Okay, so we're saying create an index.html file. Here's the template to use. And for the chunks, I'm using this chunk right here, app. So this is our index.js file. So only inject this file into this HTML file. Same thing here, I want you to create a separate file called about.html. The template for it is in right here, this file, and use the about chunk, this chunk right here. So now we're gonna associate these separate JS files into separate HTML files. So now if we run this, yarn run build, Okay, now we look in our dist folder. Now we've got our different bundles and now we've got our different HTML files. If we look in about, about is only referencing the about bundle. If we look into the index.html file, now it's only referencing the app bundle. So just a quick little tweak to these things. So now if you wanna create several pages, you just duplicate this plugin, call it whatever you want, and now you can set up various different things. So even if you have like, Let's say index, let's say index references jQuery and about is using, I don't know, you. So now we've got separate templates for each one and now we can just do yarn run build again. So you can essentially create custom layouts for each page. So now if we go to about, here's the view file we pulled in. Here's our about bundle. If we go to index, 
here's the jQuery reference, and here's our app bundle. So that's very pretty simple, but that's exactly how you show how to set up separate HTML files with all your different bundles.